Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Dark Fantasy Kit. It is free, as dictated by, well, the price right there, and the little tag there that says free. Now it's a nice asset, and I have actually used it in a couple of tutorials before. And I've seen a couple of people talk about this lately, and I figured I'd review it, I'd take a look at it and explain why I like it. So, the scene that it comes with, you know I love those scenes, is actually really well built. It looks really nice, it's well designed, the quality of the assets as well is quite high as well. I mean, just look at the high quality of those bricks right there, really nicely made. Uh, I do like it when they have uh, the baked light maps, because then at least it gives you an idea of just how good they can be. So overall quality of this is very nice, and I do like it. Quantity wise, there's plenty that you can use in this pack. There's the literally loads. I mean, there's floors, carpets, beds, uh, lights, walls, ceilings, uh, chairs, desks, loads of stuff. In fact, even if you're not building any kind of fantasy style game, you'll probably find something somewhat useful in here, even if it is just this rug or just this uh, candle stand right here. So quantity, yep, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Comes with that default scene as well as a showcase scene which is all you really need. I mean, what better way to show off your assets than this? Folders laid out very nicely. Now we've got the meshes, particles, prefabs, even a little folder for readme as well, which is pretty good. Prefabs all laid out into separate folders, which is handy once again, makes it easy to find things. Chest, very nice. Um, Extras, yeah, there's not really in the way of extras. I, I don't think you should really expect extras in this style of asset because when it says something like fantasy kit, it means that it's got a kit. It's laid out. It's got all the stuff you would need for everything in there. It's not as though it contains a whole castle or something like that, but it doesn't really need to. I think the quantity in this is enough to not even bother with extras. It's very, very nice. Usefulness, as I said, you could probably find something in this asset that doesn't even relate to uh, a fantasy or dark theme that you could probably use in any kind of game. Um, take these right here. You know, they could fit anywhere in most games, even if you've got some kind of FPS level, you're just going through it, you just need something to fill a little space in your section. Maybe find something in here which could kind of fit in a little bit more, even if it's just a shelf or some backdrop, like flag thing. It's pretty nice. Obviously, everything is customizable. You could change these walls if you wanted to. I guess you could give them, you know, real kind of normal map gritty feel if you wanted to. Uh, even change the albedo color to a red, make it look like that. So, obviously, it's highly customizable. You don't have to stick with how the asset comes. And I always encourage people to develop these assets further and build them how they want them to be. So, it's amazing what you can do with this asset. Um, so as you guys know, I don't rec uh, rate assets, I recommend them or I don't recommend them. And this one I think is perfect for people who want to kind of get to grips with Unity and trial it and prototype things. So yes, I would recommend this asset to most people, whether you are an absolute beginner, an intermediate or you're an advanced level. Something in here is worth checking out and playing around with. Even if it is just the effects that we have on these candles here with the particle system. Like that. It's really nice. It's really well done. So yeah, I would recommend this asset. So guys, have you used this asset yourself? Let me know in the comments what you think of it. And if you've got an asset on the asset store, let me know in the comments as well, because I'd love to check it out. And don't forget, click subscribe and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I have on video game development on my channel. And guys, thank you very much for watching.